The Wonderful Adventures of Nails. Once there was a boy named Nils. He found learning very boring and every time he read a book, he couldn't help falling asleep. One day, Nils woke up from a deep sleep to find an elf standing in front of him. Nils was very mischievous and tried to catch the elf in a net. The clever elf escaped and he bewitched Nils to punish him. The poor boy fell down to the ground unconscious. When he woke up, Nils was astonished to see that he had been transformed and was now only a few inches tall. Tiny Nils was so frightened that he ran out of his house and bumped into a rooster, a cat and a great big goose. The rooster and the cat looked at Nils sternly and said, You always bully us and now it's time for us to have our revenge! Nils was very scared and confused. He jumped onto the goose's back and held onto his neck tightly. The startled goose flopped his wings and flew into the air. Before Nils even had time to think, he and the goose were high up in the sky. After a while, the goose grew tired and wanted to have a rest. So they flew down and landed amongst a group of wild ducks. Soon Nils the goose and the wild ducks became firm friends and they all decided to go on a trip together. One night, while Nils and friends were sleeping, a hungry fox sneaked up on them. Just then Nils woke up. Seeing the fox approaching, he picked up a stone and threw it at him. The noise woke everyone up. Nils, together with his friends the goose and the wild dogs, scared off the hungry fox. The danger had passed and the goose and the wild dogs all said how clever and brave little Nils had been. Nils, the goose and the wild dogs continued with their trip and they flew over many different places. One day a squirrel came to the campsite. She said to Neil sadly, My child was taken away by a hunter. Would you kindly help me to find him, please? Niels agreed and went with the mother squirrel to the hunter's house to take the baby squirrel. Niels pleaded with the hunter to let the baby squirrel go. Moved by Niels' words, the hunter set the baby squirrel free and waved goodbye to them all. After another very long trip, Niels was tired and began to feel homesick. He reluctantly said goodbye to his animal friends. Once again, Niels climbed onto the goose's back and they flew back home. At last, Niels was home again and was very happy to see his dear dad. Niels changed back to his proper size and from then on, he became a good schoolboy who enjoyed learning and loved animals.